Hi, I'm Balaji Seshadri, Product Marketing Manager at Microchip Technology. In today's world, the sensor revolution is in full swing and sensor offerings range from positional, altitude, humidity, luminosity, proximity, temperature, gas to touch sensing capabilities. These sensors have now found their way in a wide variety of applications such as wearables, IoT nodes, climate monitoring, automation systems, smart healthcare and retail markets. No matter the application, at the heart of all sensor systems is a microcontroller that collects and analyzes these continuous data streams. To accurately process and optimize this data, you need a microcontroller that provides a signal conditioning, low power consumption, connectivity and security. Microchip's PIC24F and DSPIC MCUs are ideal for sensor control applications due to their highly integrated analog peripherals, integrated hardware crypto engine, and extreme low power or XLP technology. Today, I will demo our 16-bit sensor station that features four demos, each showcasing a unique sensing application using Microchip's PIC24F and DSPIC33 devices. The Wedge also has an Android tablet mounted on it to interact with the demos below, which are the portable weather station board, the magnetic card reader demo, the smart plug, and the PIC24FJ XLP Bluetooth LE IoT demo. So let's get started. Microchip's portable weather station board features the extreme low power PIC24GC microcontroller with integrated analog features like 16-bit ADCs, high-speed 12-bit ADCs, DACs, and op amps. By integrating several analog peripherals, this microcontroller improves system throughput, reduces noise, and reduces system cost, making this family perfect for portable, medical, and industrial sensor applications. The weather station board includes a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, a light sensor to measure atmospheric brightness, and an air quality measuring sensor. A PIC24FJ128GC010 microcontroller is used to measure and condition these sensor values before the analyzed data is displayed on the segmented LCD. The board is powered by two AA batteries and a coin cell connected to VBAT for maintaining the RTCC data when main power is removed or when the microcontroller is in deep sleep mode. Before you start, make sure the batteries are in place. Connect jumper JP1 to power the board from the two AA batteries. On power up, the LCD will display one of the following messages indicating the cause of reset. Device powered first time. Deep sleep wake up without VBAT. MClear asserted. Power recycled with VBAT intact. Deep sleep wake up. This is followed by a time screen in the 24 hour clock format. Use the three touchpads for data entry and navigation. The left arrow is used to decrement a digit or move to the previous screen. The select pad is used to configure the time, date, or set the current digit. The right arrow is used to increment a digit or go to the next screen. Using the capacitive touch buttons, we can now cycle through the various sensors like time, date, temperature, humidity, ambient light, and air quality. To test the temp and light sensor, place your hand on the respective sensors to see the value change on the LCD screen. To disconnect the power, remove the jumper JP1 to save battery life. For more information on the portable weather station board, please visit microchip.com slash weather station board. Next up is the magnetic card reader demo. This board features the DSPIC33 EP family of 70 MIPS processors that include three operational amplifiers, one comparator, a 10-bit ADC that can sample at 1.1 MSPS, and four 16-bit timers, all of which are used for this card reader demo. The DSPIC33 EP family provides a single chip solution which reduces the bomb cost, making it ideal for mobile point-of-sale markets. This card reader solution reads data from a three-track magnetic strip via a peat detection circuit and processes that data for downstream users. After extracting the data from the strip, it is converted to binary data and formatted for encryption. The swiped information is then fed to the application management software through USB, RS-232 or PS2 connections. Since most MPOS solutions are battery powered and are inactive for large periods, the device is put into sleep mode after every swipe. The device wakes up when there is a new card swipe detected, reads the card data, and prints it on the serial terminal before going back to sleep again. Let us now run the demo. From the tablet's home screen, let's launch the free USB serial terminal app. 
Now set the baud rate to 38400 in the serial terminal settings. Upon establishing connection with the MPOS demo, we should see the device connected status. Using any magnetic card, swipe across the demo to see the contents displayed on the terminal app. Notice the serial terminal now displays the track information, direction of swipe, and the time taken for the swipe. The demo can also be programmed with AES-128 encryption supported hex code. On card swipe, the encrypted track data along with the AES key used for encrypting is printed on the serial terminal. The DSPIC MPOS demo is built using microchips DSPIC 33EP-128 GM304 and the MCP-2200 UART bridge. For more information on the demo, please visit microchip.com slash MPOS demo. Microchip's smart plug features the PIC24FJ32GA102 microcontroller that includes deep sleep mode for lowest current consumption, a RN4020 Bluetooth LE module, and a MCP39F511 power monitoring IC. This smart plug can replace a standard wall outlet or sit in place between the wall outlet and the connected device. By adding intelligence to normal wall plugs, smart plugs are power outlets that have the ability to provide programmable control, a manually controllable on-off relay, 128-bit AES encryption, and real-time energy usage. Additionally, the ability to communicate wirelessly via Bluetooth allows remote access to your home from across the world through a smartphone or a cloud application, making this solution ideal for home automation systems and smart appliances. Smart plugs can save you money and help in conserving energy by eliminating standby power and scheduling on-off routines. By recording and measuring the power usage of a device or a system, these plugs also help in scheduling maintenance for faulty devices that can consume higher than normal power. Fire up the Smart Plug app from your smart device home screen. In the available devices screen, choose the Smart Plug entry that matches the address printed on the Smart Plug. Once the connection to the app is made, you will see the wireless reporting of power and energy, active and reactive energy, active, reactive and apparent power, current and voltage, frequency and power factor. Connect to your smart plug by downloading our microchip smart plug app from the Google Play Store. For more information on the PIC24F GA family microcontroller, please visit microchip.com slash PIC24FJ32 GA102. The PIC24 IoT demo features the PIC24FJ256 GB412 family of low-power 16-bit microcontrollers. This family comes with the integrated hardware crypto engine that offers new security features like advanced encryption standard AES, data encryption standard DES, triple DES symmetric key block ciphers, random number generators, and one-time programmable key storage, making it ideal for low-power, industrial embedded security applications such as security cameras, door locks and panels, smart card readers, POS terminals, and voting machines. To illustrate how the PIC24GB4 security features could be implemented, let's look at a simple IoT sensor node application. The demo showcases basic bi-directional command and control functionality between the Explorer 16 development board through the Bluetooth Low Energy module to a smartphone or a tablet, as well as illustrating the encryption and decryption capability. The demo is built using standard development tools from Microchip, including the Explorer 16 board or the new Explorer 1632 board, an RN4020 Bluetooth LE Pigtail Plus daughter card, and a PIC24FJ256GB410 plug-in module. These readily available tools can be used to easily replicate this demo on your own. The demo is supported by MCU firmware and an app that will run on an Android phone or tablet. First, let me show you the bi-directional control of the LEDs and switches from the tablet via Bluetooth. From the tablet's screen, open the 16-bit XLP PLE AES demo app. In the device scan page, select IoT underscore BLE to establish a Bluetooth connection with the RN4020. Make sure that the state is connected and pick mode is active. Now, press the LED1 button on the tablet to turn on LED D9 on the Explorer 16 board. Press LED2 button on the tablet to turn on LED D8 on the Explorer 16 board. Press switch S3 on the Explorer 16 board to change the state of the switch SW1 on the tablet. Press switch S4 on the Explorer 16 board to change the state of the switch SW2 on the tablet. Let me now demonstrate the encryption slash decryption capability of this demo. 
For 128-bit AES encryption, enter any hex numbers to be encrypted in the plain text field in the app. Let us enter FD. After entering the data to be encrypted, click the Encrypt button. The PIC24FJ device will now encrypt the data by using the default 128-bit key displayed on the screen. The encrypted data is now displayed in the ciphertext field. For 128-bit AES decryption, let us now enter the hex numbers to be decrypted in the ciphertext field. In this case, let us enter the encrypted data we got from the previous step. Upon hitting the decrypt button, we see FD in the decrypted text field. Since the text was less than 32 characters, zeros were appended by the application. To learn more about the PIC24 IoT demo, please visit microchip.com slash PIC24 IoT demo. All four of these demos show examples of using sensors in a wide variety of end applications, whether it's sensing temperature, magnetic data, power usage, or the status of a switch from a remote location. We look forward to seeing what type of sensors you integrate in your next application. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.